Lawrence Fox has admitted that he feels concerned for the future of his family amid his second cancellation. The former actor, 45, issued an apologize to journalist Ava Evans over his comments on GB News which sparked outrage and fury as he was accused of being sexist and misogynistic. He and Dan Witten hit headlines when he made the offensive comments about political journalist Ava on Witten's show. Earlier this week, Evans discussed men's mental health and suicide on BBC's Politics Live show, which led Lawrence to launch a vile tirade of abuse towards her while chatting to Witten on GB News. In his vicious rant, Fox mocked Evans and publicly humiliated her. He asked the offensive question, who'd want to shag that? He also described Ms. Evans as a little woman and declared, we don't need these sort of feminist for zero who he said are apathetic and embarrassing. Fox and Wooten received a lot of backlash online, with GB News later suspending Wooten. Wooten soon got suspended from GB News and his contract with Mail Online was terminated a day later. Following days of controversial tweets and an unwillingness to back down on his comments, Lawrence has now issued an apology to journalist Evans. In a 15-minute video shared on Twitter, he shared an explanation. Taking to Twitter on Thursday evening, Fox said he knows that GB News are going to sack him tomorrow, but he wanted to clear his own conscience by apologizing to Ava Evans and because he is now worried about his future career and his family amid the witch hunt against him. In his apology, which can be read here, he said, Hello everyone. Strange couple of days it's been. First of all, I've got a few things I want to say. The first is to thank you so much for all of the messages of support that have come my way. I really do appreciate it. It's been a tricky couple of days, but I have brought a lot of it on myself. I could have and should have expressed it better. It's not right, it's demeaning to Ava, so I'm sorry for demeaning you in that way, however angry I am with you still for doing that, and it demeans me because it's not representative of who I am. I am now on my second cancellation, so as a father of two, raising two children and starting again is very, very worrying. I'm not saying any of this stuff because I know I'm going to get sacked tomorrow. I'm saying this stuff to clear my own conscience. So I do want to say that I do think that what's happened is that a narrative has been spun and a scapegoat has been found, which is me. I don't think that has been particularly fair. We live in a world that's getting progressively more divided and my beliefs and all the things that I care about, in terms of stuff like free speech are a way of getting people to talk to each other from across different political lines and different cultural lines and I'm often successful, I've got particularly good relationships with people who disagree with me. Fox went on to admit that he is worried for the future of his two young sons given the society in which he deems to be too feminist. The original idea of feminism was equality which is a noble goal. Women have been suppressed but this wave of feminism that we're on feels like it's not about equality, it's about authority over men," he said. I fear for my boys so I don't like it when I hear someone saying that. I don't like it when an anti-male sentiment is so loud. We need a society full of strong women with great ideas. What we don't need is a society full of victims who want to take revenge on men because what happens then is you get a feminization of masculinity and this idea of toxic masculinity but nobody ever sees the toxic femininity. To get us out of his problem where we've got a lot of weak men, we do need some strong men and in my own cack-handed way, I was trying to make the point that any self-respecting man should run a mile from Ava, which I actually, with all due respect, I do stand by. 
I think what I'm trying to say is that I could have expressed it in a better way. Fox finished his 15-minute speech by telling viewers to be curious because there are a lot more stories going around out there than the ones that are shoved down your neck every day. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads. Just me.